To work for a reputable IT company, every candidate must have a thorough understanding of computer languages. It will enable you to advance in the IT field. Programming has been a very safe profession for many in the IT field for nearly two decades now. And be assured, that's not going to change. Today's video will guide you if you are a beginner in the programming domain and want to know exactly how to get started. Hey everyone, you are watching Simply Learn and here we are with the programming for beginners. If you love watching videos like this, do hit the subscribe button to never miss any updates from Simply Learn. If you want to become an expert in coding with a more in-depth approach in the form of self-paced learning solution, consider the Caltech Coding Bootcamp by Simply Learn and master industry relevant skills. The course is perfectly catered for beginners with no previous coding knowledge required. Check out the link in the description for more detail. But before we begin with the topic, I have one simple question for you guys. And the question is, which of the following is not a valid name for a variable? And the options are int a, float var underscore a, cache str, int 5 abc. If you know the answer, please leave them in the comment box below. Now without any delay, let's get started with the agenda. First, let us know why learn to code. Next, we will understand how to start coding. Then let's have a look at which languages to choose. Advancing, we will look at the career path. After that, let's understand the basics of programming. And finally, to get things a little more interesting, let's have a look at the projects a beginner can get started with. So, I hope I have clarified the agenda and we are good to start. Now, let's begin with why learn to code. To help expand your skill set, to increase one's income, when one is interested to pursue a career in software development or if you want to change your career path. And it also aids in enhancing confidence. Now that we know why to learn coding, let's move ahead and understand how to start coding. Set your goals, which means figure out why you want to learn to code and select the languages and tools you will need to get started. Begin learning the fundamentals of the languages you have chosen. Then begin developing the basic application. So I think you got a good understanding of how to start coding. Okay, so let us move on to which language to choose. A few languages that a beginner should learn are Java, C, C++, Python and HTML. It is not necessary to learn all of them, but you can get started with any one of them and seek a thorough understanding of that language. Before you start choosing and learning languages, I recommend that you first choose a career path and then decide which language you want to learn based on the field you have chosen. So now, let's have a look at the career path. You can choose to become a web developer. A programmer using client-server architecture to create worldwide web application is known as a web developer. Few languages that will help you to create a website are Java, JavaScript, HTML, CSS, Angular, and Scala. Next, game developer. Video game developers assist in the transformation of games from a concept to a playable reality. Few languages that will also help you to develop games are C++, Java, JavaScript, HTML, CSS, and C Sharp. Then we have mobile developer. To create applications for the iOS and Android mobile platform using Swift, Java, and Flutter languages. Next, machine learning engineers. Machine learning is a branch of artificial intelligence and computer science that defines a machine's ability to mimic intelligent human behavior. Machine learning allows computers to build models to automate decision-making processes based on data inputs. Python is the language that a beginner in machine learning should use. Next up, we have data science. Data science is the study of massive amounts of data and the use of relevant tools and techniques to derive valuable data. A data scientist's day-to-day -day work entails gathering, analyzing, and interpreting data to assist businesses in achieving their objectives. In short, it accepts the data and predicts some value for that particular data. If you're new to data science, stick to Python, algorithms, and basic math concepts. Now that we have some idea about which career path to choose, Let's have a look at some basics of programming. A variable is a name of a memory location used to store a value that can be modified and reused many times during the program execution. Example, a, car, name, etc. Advancing, we have decision-making statements, which allow us to decide the order of execution of statements like if statements, if else statements, and else if ladder statements. Simple if statements are carried out to perform some operations when the condition is only true. In if else statements, if the condition is true, then if block will be executed, otherwise else block will be executed. The else if ladder statement contain multiple else if. When either of the condition is true, the statements under that particular if will be executed. Otherwise, the statements under the else block will be executed. 
After that, we have loop control statements that allow us to iterate through a part of the program several times. The for loop is also known as a pretest loop. From the following syntax, expression 1 is an initialization, expression 2 is the conditional expression, and expression 3 is an updation. The variables can be initialized in for statement itself. A while loop is also known as an entry loop. Because in a while loop, the condition is tested first, then the statement under body of the while loop will be executed. The do while loop is also known as an exit loop. Because in the do while loop, the statements will be executed first, then the condition is checked. Next we have arrays. In arrays, same types of elements are stored under one name called array name. Also, the arrays of elements stored in consecutive block of memory. Beginners in programming can start with the simple projects like how to create a web page and then work on more complex projects once the basics are strong. So here are a few project ideas for beginners. Build your own calculator using Java, library management system using C, to-do list using C++, develop app clone using HTML, CSS and JavaScript, game development using Python, for example, tic-tac-toe. And with that, we come to the end of this video on programming for beginners. If you like this video, share it with your friends. Before I sign off, make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get all the updates. We'll be back with more such interesting videos. Until then, keep learning and stay tuned to Simply Learn. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.